Thanks for coming back to Coop Corner at Manapro Yoke Tube, brought to you by City Yokes, where we've built a community of the coolest chicks and chickens in the city. Last time you were here, we talked about building your dream home for your backyard chicken community, or at least how to choose the perfect coop. If you missed it, then you need to make sure to subscribe so you can see all the great videos we have. And I believe today we're gonna meet some new friends. What are you eggheads doing? I know you're not old enough to have your own Instagram account. I keep hearing people talk about this Buff Orpington guy. Sounds like a cool dude. Pretty strong. Must be why they call him Buff. So I went to check on my City Oaks Instagram page because they've done a spotlight on him. Guys, Buff Orpington is a chicken breed. It's one of the many great breeds that are perfect for families who want to raise chickens. What do you mean by breed? There are all types of chickens with their own distinct personalities with many different looks and cool feather do's. You may have seen City Yokes talking about them on their breed spotlights. Not gonna lie, I thought they just got their feathers done by different stylists. There's way more to it than that. There's a breed perfect for every family out there. In fact, some of our favorite egg spurts wanted to tell us about their favorite breeds and what makes them so special. Let's take a look. If I had to pick my favorite breed of chicken, it would definitely be the frizzle. I just love how funky they are. Like, look at their feathers. This is Louise, she's a white frizzle. And then this is Lucy, and this is Winnie. They're little red frizzles. What makes them unique is that they have curly feathers, and that's why they're called frizzles. And these are bantams, so they're gonna stay small. Like Louise is full grown. I also love how they just hop everywhere, and they're just very unique chickens. So let's talk about why Cochins are my favorite breed of chicken. Not only are they fun, friendly, and feathery, they come in an awesome array of colors, such as buff, blue, black, white, partridge, and laced, which gives anyone an amazing color spectrum to choose from when adding to their coop. I get the question all the time, why do I choose and love the breeds I have? And there are so many different reasons. Uh, do, do you wanna leave, little miss? <laughs> There are so many different reasons I love them. I have 10 different chickens and 10 different breeds, and I choose them two things first. One, I wanna make sure that they are cold hardy because I do live here in Denver and it gets cold. And two, I am an egg color fanatic, so each one of my chickens lays a different colored egg and things like that. You just saw Miss Ava fly away. And after cold hardiness and egg laying ability, I like to go to either egg color or plumage. Miss Ava Rose, who you just saw fly away, is my speckled Sussex. She has absolutely gorgeous feathers. But I have things like Easter eggers and olive eggers that lay blue and green eggs. And so I love all of my chickens equally and each one of them has something a little bit special which is why I don't have a flock of just one breed I have 10 chickens with 10 different breeds so if you're about to ask me which breed is my favorite I don't think I could tell you and when it comes to temperament which is a lot of times the questions we get I have to say that I think it's nurture over nature if you get your chickens as chicks and handle them daily treat them daily etc they are gonna love you so so all of my chickens come when they're called. While sometimes, like Ava, doesn't want to hug me all of the time, I have plenty of chickens who want to stay around and say hi. So overall, why I love the breeds I do is because they're beautiful, they're super fun, and they give me great eggs. Now that you know a little bit about breeds, I want to introduce you to your Aunt Layla. She's a Plymouth Bard Rock, just like you. Oh, hi, what a pretty lady. So that's what we're going to look like when we grow up. We've got a plan to help you get big and strong with a beautiful plumage, just like your auntie. You'll have your own very special talents, just like her. Each chicken breed has their own kind of superpower. Some can handle really hot summer days with ease. Some can handle cold days without a shiver and some lay amazing eggs. But no matter what your chicken superpowers are, I can tell there's not a bad egg in this bunch. And how do you know that? Maybe underneath this lovable shell, I'm born to be wild. Uh, no. I know you're just a sweet little Plymouth Bard Rock. Know how I know? Because I understand the importance of using a reputable hatchery that you can trust. We are choosy when it comes to our chicks. And so I know you have a bright future ahead of you. It's not just your future that's bright. It's nice to be back under these lights, but I'm sleepy. Can you have Aunt Layla read us a bedtime story? I'm sure she'd love to. 
Speaking of stories, we've got a lot more to tell you about how to grow your backyard flock. Make sure to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss a thing. Next week, we'll be talking about nutrition and what you, your auntie, and your whole family get excited to see come dinner time. Come back then and find out how to keep your whole Coop family healthy and happy.